everyone welcome back to Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube channel today I'm going to make you a really quick tutorial on this genie inspired bow from Aladdin it uh, might be popular soon as the new film is being released in the UK and here's how we're going to make it so for this tutorial I've got my glue gun a pair of scissors and a pen I have got a uh, genie lamp uh, felty. I'll let you know a little bit in the video where um, you can get the info on these. I've got a piece, a scrap piece of gold leatherette material, a scrap piece of black glitter material, a scrap piece of red uh, glitter material but this is long, has to be at least long enough for the template. And then I have my templates, the Rosy Lou, it is the bottom and the middle part. And then I have this um, velvet fabric, felt backed in a light blue and a turquoise colour. And these are from Mama's Bow Fabric, I'll pop the link to that in the description. So first of all, we're going to um, draw around the bottom template onto the turquoise coloured or dark blue you could do um, sort of a you could do a royal blue colour but turquoise works out quite nice for this one And when you've done that, we're going to draw around the middle part of the template on the um, light blue. And then we're going to cut them out. So here's the cut out uh, templates. Before I go any further I just want to um, say some things about Mama's Bow Fabrics. Okay so I've only recently found um, this website myself. The um, lady who runs it poorly is really really nice. She's very very helpful with everything. When you receive your um, parcels, you'll notice that they smell absolutely gorgeous. This is because Paulie takes really good care of the fabrics when she receives them from her wholesaler. She makes sure they don't smell fusty or bad and um, she gives some of them a wash which leaves them with a really nice smell. She then backs them with um, felt so that they're nice and sturdy for you to use for your bows. and. Um, Honestly, the greatest care is taken to make sure that you are happy with the service offered on this website. So I'm gonna post a link to the website in the uh, description of the video. Also in my Facebook group that I've got, Ellie Pops Bespoke YouTube, I'll also pop a link to that in my um, description. On there you'll find all the links to um, suppliers and also where you can get templates, embellishments and all sorts from. Also, I mentioned earlier about the felties that I've got. I'm gonna be using these in um, quite a few of the videos that I'm doing in the Inspired By series. Um, I will pop a link in the group to where these come from uh, very soon. So if you want to join the group, I'll pop a link in the description. So next with this bow, we're gonna do the red part of the genie's costume, which will be going on the darker blue base. You need to get your scrap piece of uh, fabric, line it up on there, cut it off and then what we're going to do is we're going to cut this a little bit thinner, I suppose you could leave it quite thick if you like, but this is a scrap piece so it's not even, so I'm just going to even it out a little bit. You could obviously rather than do it by eye like I do you could measure it out and do a re perfect rectangle I'm 
quite good at cutting straight lines. So I'm just going to straighten this shape out. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to um, glue it to the bow. Just going to put a line of glue down the middle. Because as you can see, there's some shapes that need to be cut out. So we're just going to line that up and pop it on the bow. Get it as straight as you can. Don't worry if there's some glue over the edges. We're going to cut those off in a minute. So one thing I will say as well about these fabrics and these tutorials is make sure your scissors are really sharp because there's a lot of fiddly cutting. This material is quite thick because of the felt um, and you'll need really sharp scissors. So next we're going to just cut the same shape as the template. As best as you can doesn't matter too much around the middle because you're going to be wrapping a piece of fabric round and then again at the end we're going to cut the same shape as the template as best as you can get it There we have the base shape. So next is the top. I'm just going to glue that together. And then we're going to glue that to the bow. Like I say, this you don't have to use the velvet fabrics. Um, I just fa found the colours matched quite well for the genie. But you could use um, a glitter fabric, a leatherette fabric. If you wanted to make it a little bit more glamorous, use the glitter. So next up, on the, this one that I did, I used glitter. And I've been looking at it and I don't quite like it. Um, the gold part is meant to represent the cuffs that um, the genie wears around his wrist. So I found this scrap piece of leatherette gold and I think that that's going to be a little bit better matched. So what I'm going to do is just measure the size that that wants to be. Just a little bit wider than what it actually needs. Cut it into a rectangle. Obviously a good idea when you're cutting out your fabrics to keep the scrap pieces just in case they come in handy. And then again, we're going to cut, see if I've done it to a roughly the same size. Yeah. So these represent the cuffs that uh, the genie wears, obviously because he is trapped in the lamp. This side just wants a little bit shaving off. You could draw around each other to make sure they're both the same. Just going to cut a little bit off this side. So then we're going to glue those onto there. We 
Again, don't worry that it sticks over the end. We're going to cut that to the shape we need it, the exact shape of the bow in a minute. So I'm going to stick this one on. Okay, so now we turn it over and again, using sharp scissors, follow the shape of the bow and cut off that excess edge. And then we're just going to glue the felty onto the bow. Now I've not glued the whole thing, just a little bit in the centre because it's going to be sticking off the sides like that. Then we need to get a clip. I use a 65mm alligator clip. I'll just grab one of those. So I've just got a 65mm alligator clip, I'm just going to put some glue on the back and stick it to the bow. And then we're going to cut a piece of the glitter. This bit represents the genie's uh, beard, shoes, all the black parts. gonna again fasten it underneath the clip I do it this way so um, it actually helps secure the clip on there as well if the clip ever came loose if it came undone the middle of the bow will um, help it stay so as I've been doing this for many years I can cut by sight the width of this middle part it's usually around 10 millimeters or one centimeter in width. I'm sure some templates come uh, with a centerpiece too. This one didn't. I bought this template before it came with the centerpiece. So there we are. There's a genie inspired bow. Let me know in the comments below which one you think looks better. The one with the plain gold leatherette or the one with the glitter fabric for the cuffs let me know which one you prefer i think i like this one better now but it is just personal preference and like i say you can play around with your fabrics so there we go genie inspired bow thanks for watching don't forget to check out those links in the description and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks. Bye.